Welcome back, today we'll have a look at MindMapper 12 as a planning tool. Yes, planning tool. Uh, most people use MindMapper just as a tool to mind map, but you can do a lot more with MindMapper, as you already know a little bit. So um, I want to welcome you, my name is Arjen Tegroeve and I'm the founder of MindMaps Unleashed and Carefree Mind, places where you learn how to remove the noise from your head and create a carefree mind. As I said already, mind map is more than just a mind map tool. You already create practical and powerful overviews for your work, your projects, your ideas, um, meetings probably, all because you know how to use mind mapper. You create practical, basic, but also colorful mind maps. You export to Microsoft Word, for instance, and you have a really good um, grip on all the information in your maps. But did you know that you can also create a planning in mind mapper as well? Now, wouldn't it be great if you could create your project overview in mind mapper and then add dates to it on which the uh, tasks need to be done and all that stuff. So, well, you can do this. Here's how. Uh, you select the topic in your map, for instance, the ideas, action and thoughts. And the next thing is I press my right mouse button and select schedule. Immediately a uh, overview, a project overview opens and there's a small clock next to thoughts and to organize. Uh, well, why next to organize you might think. This is because um, thoughts is part of the branch organize. So if organize is part of a planning or project, organize also is. I'll uh, press Ctrl D to add some more um, planning actions. Okay, well, here we have we have our smart mind mapping, organize and three subtasks or planning parts, thoughts, ideas and actions. And you see that there's three parts in our planning, three red parts, uh, who are which are for these three in our map. This is the basic planning and what you can do right now is you can change the dates on this by clicking on the clock and I can say well this starts at Wednesday the 11th and it ends at the 17th. Okay well immediately this changes also organized changes and the entire project smart mind mapping changes. What you can also do is you can also click here right mouse button set details. Same trick from the 19th till the 25th for instance. Or what you can do is you can look at this. Um, we can go to the right, we can go to the left. We can change this entire thing, make it longer, etc. So this is a way you can uh, make sure that your project overview is clear to you. Very nice if you have a busy project with lots of tasks and you want to have a good overview on when things start and when things need to be done. Because there's a, a thing in schedule, it's called insert dependency. When I click this and I click on uh, thoughts and ideas, again there's a sort of a relation line. But what happens here is this. You may see this that there is a short uh, red line from thoughts to ideas. It's red. Why? Because we inserted a dependency that says at the end of thoughts is the option to start with ideas. And because ideas already starts before thoughts start ends, well, there's a red line. What happens when I go to this side? Now it's blue. You see, uh, it also tells you then, oh no, here there's a problem because the first one hasn't stopped yet and the second one already started. Now it doesn't. Okay, so this way you can um, play with the information, the dates, the planning, etc. in a visual way. And that's what we like because we want to have a clear visual overview. 
What you can also do is uh, use these clocks, which uh, are all blue right now. If I click here, I can uh, change the achievement. For instance, uh, I did most of the work, 70%, 71% is done. Click. And you see that most of it is done, a little bit is still blue. This also influences Organize, because Organize is now also done for about 25% or something. When I change this one, again, this changes, this changes, everything changes. Uh, this makes it easier for you to uh, get a good overview of your project. There's more to this. Uh, you can uh, define resources, uh, work together with other people on this, uh, get a nice overview which says, uh, well, this will cost us so much and it already costs us uh, this much money. So it's all possible, but I think that's something for the uh, coaching call if you want to learn more about that. This is just a basic way of using the planning tool. Um, but of course, there is one question that I always get, and yes, I always get this question, um, and that's the following. I'm here in Organize, and I want to change this, but why can't I change this? Well, what do you think? Why can't I change the duration of Organize? Yes. Very true. Uh, organize depends on all the subtopics. If I change this, Organize changes automatically with it. If I go back, this shows you the end of the project. Now this is showing you the end of the project. So you can only change the uh, entire uh, date system, but you cannot change the duration of the project on a higher topic than the uh, lowest topics. Make sure you understand that, make sure you use that. Uh, in the next video we'll have a look at how MindMap will help you even more in your um, life, in your studies, in your projects. For now, let's uh, connect using the coaching call. Yes, I know, I said it before, but it's important, so make sure you go to mindmap-shop.com slash mindmapper-videos and I will make sure that you will be able to um, enjoy your personal free coaching call as well. No charge, no charge. Um, make sure that you understand this correctly. Uh, there's no charge and we'll just connect and we'll make sure that you enjoy MindMapper even more. By the way, uh, removing this screen, press F4. And it's gone again. Press F4 again. And it's back. Okay. Um, I'll look forward to talking with you soon. And I will show you more about MindMapper very soon. Thank you very much. And enjoy your day and your mind maps. Thank you. Bye bye.